This is the Daily Social Distancing Show with Trevor Noah. Let's kick it off as we always do, with some good news of the day. This morning, Republicans and Democrats in the Senate reached a deal to pump $2 trillion into the economy to help deal with this pandemic. It is the biggest stimulus in United States history, and it basically spreads money everywhere. Direct payments to Americans, expanded unemployment insurance, aid to small businesses, aid to the airline industry, and billions of dollars to help prop up the healthcare industry, which is vital right now. So all over America, people are gonna be getting checks from the government. And I know a lot of people out there are desperate for toilet paper, but please do not use those checks to wipe your ass. You take the check, you cash the check, and then you take the cash and you go to the toilet and you wipe your ass. Or you use the cash to buy toilet paper. I should have gone with that one first. But now you you know, If if you were already doing it, you were too fast, I can't help you. Now, apparently, Democrats and Republicans only managed to reach a deal after they agreed that they were going to include an oversight committee to make sure that all of this money is being spent appropriately, right? And there's also a provision that blocks bailout money from going to businesses that are owned by government officials, including the president and his family. Imagine that, hmm? In fact, just take a second to appreciate how strange it is that lawmakers felt that they needed to write in that the president cannot use this money for himself and his family. And even Republicans were like, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. We should include that. We should include that. Because don't forget, this is the same guy who took $150,000 from a small business recovery program after 9-11. And he didn't need that. So yeah, Trump would have looted the shit out of this fund. And even with this restriction, I bet Trump will find a loophole to try and get some of this money. He'll be like, okay, Eric, if anyone asks, you're no longer my son. Oh, damn, Dad, is this a plan to get that bailout money? No, this is just something I've always wanted. In more good news, the Chinese government has announced that there has been so much improvement in Wuhan, the place where this whole epidemic began, that the lockdown will be lifted there in just a couple of weeks. Yeah, so basically, coronavirus is like TikTok. It started in China, but it's blowing up in America. And pretty soon, the people of Wuhan are gonna be discriminating against us Yeah, they're just gonna be holding press conferences like, we need to shut down our borders to prevent the America virus from coming in. The America virus? Yeah, that's how it works, right? You name it after where it is, because it's not in Wuhan anymore. So, you, America virus? Yeah? But this news out of Wuhan gives me hope because it shows that the coronavirus can be beaten, right? All you need to do is wash your hands, social distance, and have an all-powerful government that can force you to do whatever they want. Yeah, because meanwhile in America, people are like, if I want to lick a toilet seat, it's my God-given right to lick a goddamn toilet seat. So that's the good news. Money coming into America and China seems to have coronavirus under control. Now, we need a little bit of good news every day because outside of that, the coronavirus is showing no signs of slowing down. The number of confirmed cases worldwide has jumped to over 430,000. Spain has surpassed China as the country with the most deaths after Italy. And even the royal family isn't immune. Prince Charles has now tested positive for coronavirus. Yeah, so basically Harry and Meghan left and coronavirus joined, which is a pretty bad trade if you ask me. But don't worry, the prince only has mild symptoms and they say he's recovering. He's in self-isolation in his palace. Yeah, and I won't lie, the prince being in self-isolation in the palace sounds like the beginning of a very strange Disney movie. The prince was trapped in his castle until one day a fair maiden came to rescue him. Only your kiss can save me for maiden. Oh, a kiss? Man, you lucky if I wink at you from far. Get away from me. Meanwhile, across the pond, America is quickly becoming one of the world's coronavirus hotspots with over 60,000 people now infected. Businesses, are continuing to react in different ways to try and work through this. For example, airlines are now reassigning passengers so that nobody sits in a middle seat. And this is in an attempt to give everyone more distance from each other. Now, this is gonna be tough for airlines, and I mean, it's probably gonna completely destroy Spirit Airlines because they only have middle seats. Spirit Airlines, if you're still flying, you deserve us.